This is KXOK News. Stephen B. Stevens with the 355 report. Temperature in Radio Park, 48 degrees. It will be rainy, drizzly through tomorrow. The complete revised forecast following this news. A tentative agreement has been reached by the Brotherhood of Locomotive Firemen and Enginemen to accept a presidential board recommended wage increase. The agreement is similar to one announced yesterday by another rail operating union, the Brotherhood of Railroad Trainmen, except for retroactive dates. A ratifying vote will be taken in Chicago November 30th. In St. Louis, crime shows a 10% increase for October of this year over the same month last year, according to Police Chief Brostron. Burglaries and auto thefts have increased all year, while crimes against persons have dropped. In St. Louis County, the chief deputy of the sheriff's office is quitting at the end of the year after eight years in that post. He is John Young, who says the workload in the county sheriff's office is too heavy for the amount of pay. The hearing continues on Homer G. Phillips Hospital. KXOK's Bob Shea reports. At St. Louis City Hall, the second day of hearings into reports that the city might be secretly planning to close Homer Phillips Hospital, and personnel director Elliot Scarce was on the witness stand today. Scarce told Alderman Clark that there is no significance to listings in the newly published city directory showing that personnel now at Homer Phillips Hospital are employed at other hospitals. Scarce says the R.E. Polk Company, which publishes the directory, got no advance information from his department about changes in personnel, and he expressed the opinion that the Polk Company published incorrect information. Bob Shea, KXOK News. Governor-elect Warren Hearns has made two appointments today, both from St. Louis. His administrative assistant will be Floyd Warman, an advertising account executive. Replacing Hollis Ketchum as liquor control supervisor will be Glennon Moran, a St. Louis attorney. A meeting is to be held in Fenton tomorrow night to discuss the recommendation by the City-County Airport Commission that St. Louis City and St. Louis County buy and operate Weiss Airport in Fenton near the Chrysler plant on Rudder Road. Go to Europe for more business is the recommendation of Governor John Dalton, who made a trade mission to Europe during his term. He told the St. Louis Regional Export Expansion Council in Jefferson City that several million dollars came to Missouri because of that mission. The federal government is going to provide $50,000 for free lunches for children in the pruitt Igo housing project in St. Louis. The city school board may be asked to match that amount. Still missing is 13-year-old Alan Schaffner of Robertsville, Missouri, who disappeared near his home Saturday afternoon. He was out horseback riding. The horse came back. Alan did not. For a report on the Russian scientists who attended the manned space flight symposium in San Antonio, we switch to Hank Kurth, reporting to KXOK. Three Russian scientists are attending the third international symposium on bioastronautics and the exploration of space here at San Antonio. The scientists, Dr. O.G. Kazenko, a physiologist, Dr. V.V. Antipov, a radiobiologist, and Dr. M.M. Koshenko, who is interested in space flight from a human engineering standpoint, arrived here on a commercial airliner with astronaut Scott Carpenter, but they did not recognize one another. The three Soviet scientists are delivering technical papers on Soviet manned spaceflight experience. Dr. Kazenko said today several cosmonauts suffered emotional arousal and persistent discomfort akin to motion sickness on orbital flights. He also predicted a large and serious group of problems lay ahead for manned space missions. This is Hank Kurth at San Antonio, Texas. The president of the United Auto Workers Union, Walter Ruther, quotes a high official in his union as being hopeful of an end of the Ford Motor Company strike. A high-ranking member of the House Appropriations Committee has raised an eyebrow, verbally speaking, about a 19-day tour of the Pacific being made by some Congress committee staffers. They are on tour of Air Force bases, but some are staff members of committees with little or no connection with the military. The New York stock market scored a marked gain today. Dow Jones Industrials advanced 5.29 to a new closing high of 885.39. Total volume today was 5,930,000 shares. From KXOK's weather service, here's the revised forecast. Cloudy, occasional light rain or drizzle affecting most of the area today and tonight. Cooler tonight, the low around 42, the high tomorrow 48. Now in Radio Park, it's 48 degrees, skies are cloudy. A check is on its way to Kenneth Williams of Lone Dow, Missouri for yesterday's best news tip. If you see news, phone Forest 15965. That's the news. Stephen B. Stevens reporting for KXOK, St. Louis, Missouri. 
St. Louis' most popular news station. The time is 4 p.m. 4 o'clock, the sing-along survey. Ray Otis and company with the hit sounds till 7 o'clock tonight. I want to thank Nick Charles for taking over in that uh, hour of need. I think I, I think we had a smattering touch of the flu again. We were, we're bouncing back again, and I think I'll hold together until 7 tonight with great hits. This is 30 on our sing-along survey. Jerry, the pacemakers. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's Jerry and the Pacemakers on KXOK. I like it. It's at 30 on the Big 6 Plus 30 sing-along survey at two and a half KXOK minutes past 4 o'clock. The Big 6 Plus 30 sing-along survey. KXOK temperature right now, 48 degrees. Could you use $1,000? Space conditioning systems at 6510 Page invites you to enter the National Football Sweepstakes. It's easy. Each week, 21 football games are listed on a convenient IBM card. You simply select the winners. If you select six winning games, you win $1. As you select more winning teams, you earn more money. If you select 21 correct games, you win $1,000. It's a lot of fun with big cash prizes. Step into Space Conditioning System, 6510 page, and pick up your card so you can win this week. When you stop in, be sure to see the fine selection of humidifiers starting as low as $35. The National Football Sweepstakes, co-sponsored by KXO. Okay, so see Space Conditioning Systems or write KXOK and we'll send you your KXOK Space Conditioning card. Be a big money winner this week. Couldn't you use $1,000? Four KXOK minutes now past four o'clock. The Sing Along Survey Show. In St. Louis, the KXOK Community Billboard is now on the air. Come on out to Highland High School Auditorium in Highland, Illinois on November 20th to see No More Homework, a three-act comedy at 8 p.m. Now remember, if you have a message of importance to be broadcast, just send it to Community Billboard, KXOK St. Louis. The Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey. This is 29. These are the four tops on our brand new Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey. I need your loving. Hey, I need your love of the porn tops on KXOK. The Ray Otis Show at 29 on our Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey. The great sound of the porn tops, and I need your love. And it's seven minutes past four o'clock on KXOK. You love double mint gum. Double good, double good, double mint gum. Double fresh flavor, double smooth too. Double mint, double delightful to chew. You love double mint gum. Get double everything rolled into one. You love double mint gum. Double good double mint gum. Yes, you love the double fresh taste and double smooth chewing goodness of double mint gum. Chewing double mint just naturally makes things go more pleasantly for you. So remember, you love double mint gum. The Sing Along Survey Show from KXOK Otis and Company reminding you to drive with extreme caution and care. No reports of any major traffic tie ups anywhere in the St. Louis area to the moment, so continue to drive with care. The pavement is slippery and wet today, and that could create a, a high traffic accident uh, situation today, so please drive with care. KXOK temperature on the Ray Otis Show right on the button at 48 degrees. I was a KXOK Turk inspector Checking on all his turkeys for the KXOK turkey shoot Oh, nice big fat turkey here yeah, yeah. Mr. Inspector? Yes? How about me? No, 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 you too skinny, scrawny turkey We want a big fat turkey for KXOK turkey shoot <laughs> I'm sorry, you're no Come good enough on. No, no, nice big fat turkey here Nice big fat turkey there Howdy, you don't pass the KXOK turkey inspector. You too skinny, scrawny. You look sick. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, KXOK turkey shoot. Lots of big fat turkeys. <laughs> right now, nine minutes past four. One of our brand new twin picks. Here's a KXOK. 
The good sound of the Four Seasons, the story of the big man in town, headed for the top ten. Big man in town on KXOK, the Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey show. Twelve minutes past four o'clock. Otis and company right here till seven o'clock tonight on the station with a happy difference, KXOK. Hello, this is Louise Harrison Caldwell reporting exclusively for KXOK. <clears throat> here are a few interesting facts about the Shakespearean scene the Beatles did in the one TV show. First, the whole set, including the oddly shaped stage, the audience all around the edge, was modelled on the original Globe Theatre in London, which was the theatre where Shakespeare's plays were acted at the time he wrote them, some 400 years ago. Secondly, the traditional Shakespearean atmosphere was copied by having the audience so noisy and heckling the actors as they tried to say their lines. Also, having John play the part of the heroine was in the tradition, as in the original Globe Theatre, only male players were allowed and all female parts were played by young men. One last word. I think if you have read any of Shakespeare's comedies, you will agree that he had as much a sense of fun as the Beatles, and if he had been at their performance, would likely have applauded as loud as anyone. This is Louise inviting you to tune in KXOK Monday through Friday at this same time for more reports about the Beatles. Cheerio. Cheerio, Louise. We'll listen for your next report in two hours. The Ray Otis Sing-Along Survey Show at 13 and a half minutes now past 4 o'clock. At 28, it's Gail Garnett singing the sunshine. Then she went on away. And we'll sing in the sunshine. It's Gail Garnett on the Ray Otis Big Six Plus 30 Sing-Along Survey Show. Let's mark Gail Garnett at 28. On our Big Six Plus 30, hey, the brand new sing-along survey out available today at your favorite record store. Be sure and pick up your copy. Next time you need money, make sure you get your kind of loan with your kind of payments. Impossible? Not at all. At Public Finance, you can get your kind of loan with your kind of payments. Public Finance realizes people are different, and so are their money needs. And nobody does quite as much about it as Public Finance. So when you need money, call Public Finance. Call on Public Finance Company, 821 Locust Street, phone Geneva 6, 3181. We have a traffic tie occurring on Natural Bridge and Jennings Station Road. A collision there has gummed up traffic in the westbound lane. And I understand it's carrying over into the eastbound lane also. So that's uh, kind of a clogged intersection right now at Natural Bridge and Jennings Station Road. <laughs> KX OK Weather Service reports considerable cloudiness with intermittent light rain or drizzle affecting about 80% of the area tonight. Rain or drizzle ending Wednesday. Not too much change in temperature tonight and Wednesday with a high tomorrow. Expected to be in the upper 40s with a low tonight expecting, uh, expected to, you know, roost at about 25 to 30. Outlook for Thursday, partly cloudy, continued cool at KXOK's Radio Park, 47 degrees. At 27, these are the larks. KXOK's Ray Otis show at 27 on that big six plus 30 of the Larks. Kind of a new kicky dance sensation, the jerk. <laughs> 20 minutes past 4 o'clock on KXOK, the big six plus 30 sing-along survey with the hit sound still 7 o'clock tonight right here. Let's join that Pepsi generation. Come alive. Today there's a Pepsi-Cola for everyone. Regular Pepsi with a clean, bold taste. And new Diet Pepsi with the same honest to Pepsi taste. Reach for regular Pepsi when you want a refreshing energy lift or Diet Pepsi to drench your thirst for less than a calorie. Come alive, you're in the Pepsi generation. Stephen V. Stevens with Sports of the Day. Yogi Berra has switched from the New York Yankees to the New York Mets. This came about today when the 39-year-old former catcher, coach, and manager of the Yankees signed a two-year contract with the Mets as a coach. It is possible Berra may do some playing for the Mets if he can get into condition in spring training. In the NBA, Philadelphia is at Keele Auditorium against the Hawks tonight. 
The St. Louis Hockey Braves have flown to Minneapolis for a game there Friday. That's it from the world of sports. Remember, all the good sports are on KXOK. Hey, come see about me on KXOK, the Ray Otis Show, the Supremes. Let's mark the Supremes at 26 on the Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey. It's 24 KXOK minutes past 4 o'clock. Ray Otis and company, the Big Six Plus 30 sing-along survey. Still have a report of a traffic tie at a natural bridge in Jennings Station Road. Traffic is not moving through that intersection at the moment due to a collision. If you're traveling in that direction... Uh, plan on uh, skirting that intersection of Jennings Station Road and Natural Bridge. A pile up there now for about 10 or 15 minutes that's created a traffic block. A word from Pat Patterson. With all of the strike publicity from auto companies recently, a lot of us have been concerned over immediate delivery when we decide on our new car. Pat Patterson Ford at 3600 South Kings Highway is always thinking of his loyal customers. He buys in quantities to assure his customers of a large selection and the choice of the new Ford they really want. Immediate delivery on new Fords at Pat Patterson Ford. Pat Patterson has over 150 new Fords in stock right now. Immediate delivery on new Fords at Pat Patterson Ford. There's no waiting, no fuss or bother. Immediate delivery on new Fords at Pat Patterson Ford. Come in today to Pat Patterson Ford. The prices are every day low with big, big savings. Immediate delivery on new Fords at Pat Patterson Ford. May we put you behind the wheel of a new Pat Patterson Ford. KXOK temperature on the Ray Otis Show right now at 48 degrees. Have you ever seen your skin under a microscope? If you have, you know how important the pores of your skin are. They absorb moisture, they let moisture escape. Unfortunately, when too much moisture escapes, the result is dry skin. Rough heels, chapped knees, flaky elbows, itchiness around the waistline. Sound familiar? Then take a Sardo bath. Just one capful of Sardo in your tub bathes away dry skin, locks precious moisture in. What a silken, luxurious feeling. Dryness is gone. And when dryness goes, all that roughness and itchiness go with it. Your skin is youthfully soft and beautiful again. Get Sardo at your drug or cosmetic counter and bathe away dry skin. If you shower, get Sardoets for the same skin softening, skin smoothing results. And yeah, right now on the Ray Otis Show, it's KXOK time, 26 past 4 o'clock. This little one for you. The great sound of the Beatles and extra in the top 30 today. I feel fine. 47 KXOK degrees. The sing-along survey show from KXOK, The Beatles, I Feel Fine, The Ray Otis Show. It's 29 minutes past 4 o'clock. News stories in today's Post-Dispatch. Britain's Prime Minister Wilson warns France its policies could split NATO and imperil safety. Khrushchev likely to lose all of his posts. Rain misses many U.S. areas. Brush fires continue. Water is low. Anti-Red Christian Crusade loses tax-exempt status. Recruit of adequate personnel at Homer G. Phillips Hospital hindered by cloud of doubt over its future, director says. For complete details, see today's Post-Dispatch. For daily home delivery, dial main 1 one 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 one. KXOK 630 in St. Louis, Missouri. Bob Shea with KXOK News in Brief. A rebel broadcast from Stanleyville in the Congo indicates American medical missionary Paul Carlson has not been executed. The City County Airport Commission has formally adopted a report recommending St. Louis and the county get together to buy a Weiss Airport in Fenton. Governor Dalton says Missouri should send another trade delegation to Europe because of the phenomenal success with the last one. A Washington University Medical School professor told a hearing on the future of Homer Phillips Hospital today that the hospital has been remarkably good in patient service. Two men, one armed, got $25 in the holdup of a dry cleaning shop at 3016 North Market this afternoon. From KXOK's weather service, the revised forecast. Considerable cloudiness, intermittent light rain or drizzle affecting 60 to 80% of the area tonight. Rain or drizzle ending tomorrow, 
The low tonight around 40, high tomorrow in the 40s. Current Radio Park temperature 48 degrees. Complete details at five minutes before the hour. KXOK time, 431. Well, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I got to be good. So I can see my baby when I leave this world. 